Hello, I'm Rick Torbett, and welcome to another full time out brought to you by BetterBasketball.com. Let's look at tackling a full court press off of a made shot, a made free throw, or a made basket uh, where you're not really set up. You're just um, uh, taking the ball out of bounds. You've got the baseline to run, and the full court press is being put on you. So I don't know whether it's a made shot, like I say, or a free throw, but uh, I'd like you to consider this. Breaking two here and breaking two here. And here's why. When this player takes the ball out of bounds and runs uh, the baseline, run run a good ways down the baseline, okay? Uh, not just clear the backboard, but maybe another step or two like this, okay? Uh, I'm, maybe I'm exaggerating, somewhere in there. Because I want two windows for the inbounder. Rather than four decisions, let's cut this down to two, okay? There's one window, which is straight down this sideline. Okay, now, most people are um, used to you trying to inbound here quickly, you know, with their uh, backside to the sideline, uh, facing this way, uh, looking to catch this pass in a, in, a, in a hop facing this way and inbound and go, you know, pitch it ahead, okay? But uh, if I have another person, person, another player running right here, then... I can check two pretty quickly, okay? And you'll be surprised a number of times that you can just throw straight over this inbounder because they rush to cover this inbounder, but they don't think about covering this. So you just you, you throw over this player to this one. And, of course, if you do, press is broken. The other window is this diagonal window. And just like this one, there's a short and a long. And uh, it... It's pretty natural check, you know. I mean, the the first one I'd like I'd like to hit is that middle one, okay. Um, uh, of course, I yeah, I'd like to throw it over here and press is done and it's over and that type of thing. Um, just depends on what level you play as to whether you can make that pass or not. But if you can, there's two to check, a short and a long, and you can throw right over this middle and hit this diagonal just like this one and be done and gone. Okay, now let's go ahead and go a step further, even though I'm going to uh, show you a couple other things from right here. Uh, if you do inbound, okay, uh, either here or here in this formation, okay, in, in the backcourt, all right, then this player needs to fill in behind, okay? And it just depends. I, like I say, if I threw it in the middle, I'd probably fill in behind over here, behind the line of the ball in case this player can't turn, look, opposite and uh, and pitch ahead to one of these two, okay? Uh, if you inbound here, running all the way over here might not be such a great idea, okay? Just back underneath the goal so that you've got a short safety valve to throw back to just in case this is a hot press. And of course, again, if you can hit it, if you can get the ball ever in the middle, uh, <clears throat> I think you've got the press broken, okay? Uh, my rule is, You'll hear me say this time and again, catch in the middle, turn, and look opposite, okay? 